Welcome to this Get Exercise Confident video. Today we're going to go myth busting and look at the science behind abs. Now, one of the most frequent questions we get on the YouTube channel is how many crunches or core exercise do I need to do to get abs and will that exercise reduce body fat around the stomach? And that's what we're going to answer today. To do that, we're going to look at two key concepts. So the first key concept is what are abs? So abs are your rectus abdominis. That's the muscle that goes from just below your chest bone all the way down to just above your pubic bone. And they have these tenderness intersections that come across. And that's what gives the appearance of a six pack. So it's actually one long muscle rather than separate muscle bellies, which people often believe. Now, in order to see your abs, you need to have a body fat percentage typically less than 15 to 20%. Now the reason for the variance is people depends on genetics as people have different prominence of their ab muscles and they store fat differently and that also depends on your gender. So that's the first concept of what abs are. The second concept is the concept of spot reduction. Spot reduction is the idea that where you target a muscle you'll lose body fat around that area. For instance if you do a bicep curl you'll burn fat around the bicep or if you do crunches or an ab exercise you'll burn fat around the stomach. Now there's been multiple studies that have looked into spot reduction. One really good study took a group of young men and young women and trained them for 12 weeks. It got them doing the single leg press on just one leg, so we'll say for this instance just the left leg. Three times a week they did a thousand reps on the left leg, so a good number of reps. And they measured the body fat percentage of all the participants before the study and it measured their overall body fat percentage as well as the body fat percentage of the left leg and the body fat percentage of the right leg. After 12 weeks they re-measured this and what was really interesting what they found and that's that the overall body fat percentage decreased of the whole body but when they compared the left to the right leg there was no further body fat percentage loss in just the left leg. What this means and loads of other studies support it is that spot reduction is a myth there's no such thing. When you work a muscle like your bicep or you work your abs you're not going to burn fat around it. You will develop those muscles but it has no effect on fat. So if we take those two concepts, concept one, what are abs? Concept two, how spot reduction isn't actually a thing. And we ask our original question, how many crunches do I need to do to reduce body fat around the abdominal region? The answer is it doesn't matter how many crunches you do, it won't reduce the body fat here. Now, people often then think, what's the purpose of abdominal exercises? But there's two really good reasons. The first is it strengthens your core, and that's so important. It improves your posture, helps with things like back pain, and thirdly, it improves your sporting or athletic performance. So those are all the benefits. The second thing is like any muscle, you can still develop the abdominal muscles. If you develop them, they will look more toned. So what that means is if you get your body fat percentage below around 15 to 20%, then the more developed your abs are, the better they will look. So ab exercises are good for developing your abdominal muscles, but the key thing is they're not gonna reduce fat and you have to have a low enough body percentage fat first. I hope you found this Get Exercise Compton video useful. We'd love to hear any of your comments or queries in the, in the comment section below. And please subscribe and like the channel if you enjoyed it.